Hey everyone, welcome to World Heritage Journey. Today, we're at the Itsukushima Shrine near Hiroshima, Japan. Underneath this scaffolding that you can see behind me stands one of the iconic images of Japan, the red tori or gateway to the Itsukushima Shrine that's just over here. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't look at its best today because it's being cleaned in preparation for the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. But lucky for us, there's a whole shrine to check out as well. Let's go. The shrine complex of Itsukushima sits on the sacred island of Miyajima, just off the coast of Hiroshima. Overshadowed with forested mountain peaks, the entire island is considered sacred in the Shinto tradition, home to three goddesses of seas and storms. There's been a shrine on the island since the 6th century, but the current complex dates back mainly to the 12th century, when it was constructed by a prominent local warlord. And although little of this era remains, as the shrine has been damaged and rebuilt over the centuries, each reconstruction has been done in a sympathetic way, so it's generally accepted that the shrine's current look matches the 12th century appearance. It even looks particularly good at the moment, as a 2004 typhoon allowed for a lot of modern reconstruction. In terms of architecture, it's a fascinating place. Since the island is considered sacred, where mortals are forbidden from entering, the shrine is constructed so that the buildings don't actually touch the island itself. They're all on wooden pillars elevated above the ground. This way, pilgrims can visit the island and worship without disturbing the spirits that live there. And it's quite a striking effect. At high tide, the shrine and the famous gateway just seem to float serenely on the water. Though of course at low tide, you can just walk around in the muddy sand. It's also an incredibly beautiful spot, with the striking red timber beams, the brilliant white plaster walls, long pillared corridors, fluttering lanterns, and the large main hall. We had a great time just wandering around the shrine exploring the various hallways and enjoying the views of the water and the rest of the shrine. It would have been great to see the Tori as well, but sometimes you just get unlucky with these things. <laughs> 